It was 1980. Party crews were big and popular. Everybody wanted to hang out with them, party with them. House parties were really big in Chicago. It was just a thing to do. And in the back of the yards, yes, the back of the yards, was really, really popular for having house parties in these neighborhoods. Why? Because no one would call the cops. Let's get into this video. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, yeah, you know, until I suburban, we're going to back of the yards again. What's up, man? Welcome to another episode. Fuck it, we're gonna call this one Gang Life because it is what it is. There are an original, original, I'm talking about original of the back of the yards creation. We are talking about the City Nights, yes. The City Nights started actually as a party crew, just a bunch of kids that wanted to go to different parties, travel around, you know, the South Side, and just go to parties. A lot of these organizations in Chicago start off like this. Start off as party crews, start off as social clubs or athletic clubs, you know, um, from parties to playing baseball to just going to parties. Something happens in that transition if you really think about it, I don't, it must be hate. Other people seeing them like really happy, people around them, girls party. I don't know, but something happens in the middle and they end up turning into a full blown gang. Now don't get me wrong, there is organizations in Chicago that started as organized crime, point blank. It is what it is, that's what they started off. But most of them, and I wanna say eight out of 10 in Chicago have started as something not bad and then turned into something. After reading the uh, stuff on them and stuff like that, I actually have to say that these were a bunch of kids that got together and just didn't want to get fucked with and ended up turning into a full out blown local small gang that's, that's held up time and dirt amongst powerhouse gangs like the Land Kings, the Saints, you know what I mean, Two Six. so yeah. When the City Knights first started, they battled it out with all the crews that were like Neutrons and the party crew scene. So they made a name for themselves in the party crew scene as some tough motherfuckers that could party. And they started gaining popularity like that. Then in 1988, the City Knights actually teamed up with the SDs from 51st and Wood and actually joined the Folk Alliance and became a full-blown gang. And they were really, really known to have had some, like, uh, gunners. Gun, you know, motherfuckers that just took care of business. There's some dudes that just have a nerf for it, an itch for it, and just do it right, you know? And then you got the dudes that do it and just get caught. But there's some dudes that actually get, get away with it and 
all you need is a couple of those dudes and you're pretty much controlling you know an organized organized crime area because you're 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 taking care of business you take you're taking it you're not asking the city nights were down down as brothers man of everything i ever heard of them, i never heard nothing bad about them and think about it, this is a small local local gang from back of the yards back of the yards like i said it's not a big neighborhood it's not a big area but it is a well well high high latino populated area mixed with blacks my dad used to take me over there all the time to the uh, um there was like a swap meet place over there like a pulga and we would go over there because my dad my dad loved being in all the mexican neighborhoods in chicago so you know i i would see it and i would see how you know the rosas were across the streets the, the saint was over here the party people were on that side but it's a small area and for this gang to make a name for themselves with big powerhouse like that it means something you know they they obviously were some down brothers so I want to say that the 1990s were the best years for them. Just like I also say the same about the SDs. They got stronger. They got bigger. They, they ended up opening, you know, other hoods and, and Gage Park, Elgin, and Walktown. And uh, they, they grew, you know. And just like any organization out there, it always happens. You start to get bigger. You know, war broke out. And... They, they went to war with the Rasas, they went to war with the 2-6. I don't even know if they're at war with the SDs, but I know the SDs have been gone from 51st and Wood for a long minute. I read the story and I seen the pictures of this, this particular organization just trying to be kids, you know, in a rough, you know, rough, rough area of Chicago because the back of the yard is, is a rough area. They just didn't want to get fucked with and sometimes I guess you get messed with so much that you end up becoming what you hate the most because you have to protect yourself and then the the list gets longer and longer about uh, of enemies that have done wrong to you and the hate starts to build more and more and then you have years and decades on top of decades of hate that is taught to these to these youngsters and they don't even know why they don't even know who got stabbed or you know they don't know why the city knights went to war with the rasas and all that stuff but they, they hate them and it's embedded in them because sadly to say this is where we grow up and this is the way we live you can't cross that street you know what i mean if you're banging you can't cross that street unless you're going over there to go pull a hit you know what i mean and it's crazy because these areas are actually really small you know it's, they're not big areas they're really small so it's, it's this is why the the murders and in the the shootings are, are so high because they're in such close quarters that it's crazy. But this is this is where I tell everybody I'm not glamorizing gangbanging. I'm not glamorizing organizations. I'm looking at these organizations because whether you guys like it or not, they were in our history. And remember, there's there's good and bad history. It doesn't matter. It's history. It happened in Chicago, the back of the yards. One day you might even not know it. Back in the yards might be all yuppies with high rises and all that stuff. And you could sit there and, and tell a part of Chicago that this organization was here. This And that's how it was because Chicago is Chicago. Chicago is a beautiful city, but it's also a gangster ass city. And that's what it is, point blank. Good people, gangster ass people, money, hustlers. You know, not that I'm saying that I, 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 I'm okay with it. I'm just saying that it creates different kind of people that's why I have to believe that I am the way that I am I also day and night I'm at, I'm at work day and night like it is what it is some people don't favorite line on the good fellas I'm not your average nine to five guy I'm never gonna work for nobody I've tried but it doesn't work <laughs> so here you go guys in a nutshell city nights a small local back of the yards organization that started as a party crew and just after fights and fights and wars they turned into a full-blown gang took care of business stood the test of time and it's still to this day i get it when you grow up in these neighborhoods you have to either participate or get out the way there's, there's smart ways to drive around these people this however you want to say it i always said i'm a good driver because in prison i just knew how to drive around certain people and just mind my own business and that's how a big part of the game is played on the streets and teaching these kids that it's not 
one, it's not okay to be part of a gang. Two, does that mean that you, you know, walk out of your house, give them dirty looks? And no, no, you have to, you actually have to do things the smart way. Like it or not, that's your neighborhood. That's that's where you live. So you have to sleep there. They ain't about no tough man thing or nothing. It's about respect, being kind, being humble. That's all it is. But I don't know nothing, man. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. And you know what? I'll catch you guys in the rebound.